Wait, why didn't I get the memo? What? You know what? That's Rebel Shaco for you. Oh, oh, a bully. Oh, oh. Be gone, peasant. Shake, I'm about to blick block you into next year. What? <gasps> Welcome back to another Not So Berry Challenge episode. If you guys remember from last episode, my name is Sandy and I play Sims videos. I play regular gaming videos, cosplay, I love anime. I do a little bit of everything to be honest. I just like to have fun. Today we are on episode three of Not So Berry and if you guys want to know where we are right now, we just ended where Shaco pretty much hurt her best friend or her newest friend here in her new hometown and we are with Gemma right now I decided to give her a little bit of a makeover but in the last scene Gemma was really hurt by Shaco because Shaco was making rumors about her I don't know about you but Shaco turned into kind of a mean girl um in my previous save file I had actually remade Gemma and if you guys know Gemma she's from the realm of Ma magic pack I redid her face and I kind of redid her like look her outfit's kind of the same I've also done a few things as it relates to the game and the way that it looks I have this kind of like auto blur feature going on so if you're wondering why your vision's kind of tweaking out that's what it is i just love Gemma. i just really wanted you guys to see what she looked like and this is a realm of magic look so let's get back to the game so we are ending right where shake shako left off she was out um pretty much at the 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 lake with her friends where she was hanging out with a new friend and now she has a new friend in her social circle she's joined a new social group and now she's kind of turning a bit into a rebel i'm gonna go ahead and bring shako home at this point it's pretty late her parents are probably wondering where she is her mom has just come home from work she's not feeling good dad's also not feeling too well he's getting a little stuffily let's just hope shako doesn't get sick as well but honestly she's feeling really awesome about herself like i don't i don't really know i guess bullying makes you feel great shako i'm not really for it but you know you do you boo -boo. yeah you do you so yeah she's um made a little bit of love a little romance with her boy boo crush rohan they have a big crush on each other and they have lasting memories um she still perceives them that extremely attractive yeah this feature is gonna drive me insane i'm gonna have to see what i can do about it give me a second okay well i don't know how to get rid of this adaptive sharpening for now we're just gonna do what we got honestly she's like living her best life um i'm gonna head i'm gonna go ahead and set her to bed for tonight um and then tomorrow we're gonna get her started on just a brand new day <laughs> she's super flirty oh my gosh like this whole day has been just a blast for her and to be honest with what's going on with shako like she is part of a new group she's part of the rebel rousers and they're a social group who really just doesn't care they don't care about anything or anyone they don't care about anything it's great for her but i guess not so great for her current friends um She's really, really a bully, and she really hasn't gotten past the unpopular spot yet. She might get more popular now, you know, like, you know, you know the movies. I am going to see where she is on her homework, so if not, um, we'll get her homework done super early tomorrow morning. But it looks like she's done, and so she's still pretty much good girl energy she's just you know bad girl you know bad girl um shako not doing too well but her dad doing amazing honestly um well maybe not so much he looks like he's pretty sick eat some eat something and yeah eat something and feel better dude feel better mom was actually having a lot of emotional trauma so she was really wanting to talk over her relationship here she, one thing that she can do to make herself feel better is to talk to lyo about him so i'm gonna have her talk to him about her relationship fears and then and, you know, I think they're going to have their first kiss in a very long time. Mom is now talking to Lyle about her relationship fears. And I think what they can do is, I know that technically they're married, but let's just say, you know, they're going to have their first kiss, first kiss in a very, very long time. And it says, Bailey put herself forward and opened up a line of communication, but the problems ain't over. Maybe another day of communication and her worries will finally overcome her fears. And look at them. Them having their first kiss is a very big deal. I'm super excited for them. Um, I know that technically they've had their first kiss because how you have babe without kisses. But uh, what I'm saying is they've had their first kiss in a very, very, very long time. I re I'm really happy for her. I'm happy for mom and I'm happy for dad. And I think that this is going to be a new step in their relationship. And some of her emotions should be able to be resolved from this. Nope. 
Ooh. I didn't know you liked the same shade, though. Yeah, her singing voice isn't that bad. Like, I don't hate it. And I gave Shaco a new look. So I want you guys to see it tomorrow. Um, I think it's going to really, 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 like, make her stand out in school. Especially now that she's a rebel. A rebel. I really want, like, that bad girl look for Shaco to come out. Yeah, I know you need to use the restroom. So go ahead and get everything prepared. Get your daily morning routine going. And while we're at it, I'm going to have you put some lotion on. Yeah, you are dry. Oh, she has leg hair now. Oh, my gosh. So it says, no sure sign of growing up than the hair that starts growing during puberty. Yeah, like, yo, I think she has leg hair now. Whoa, she has a lot of leg hair. Oh, you are a hairy. You are a hairy missy. Holy cow. I'm trying to figure out. So let's do a check on where she is on her mischief. She still, uh -huh. she still needs to be disliked by a second uh -huh. sim. And I really, like, if you guys agree with me, I personally think that the second sim is going to be, but it's going to be Gemma. Gemma, the friend that she thought she was really going to have a connection with, and just turns out that Shaco turned out to be a big bully instead. Honestly, I think you're not doing too bad. Like, you're genuinely not doing too bad. I think your schoolwork is great. Um, I really just think that you are struggling to really make those connections. And sis, I'm not going to lie to you, with the way that you're acting, I wouldn't want to be your friend either. She has this new outfit too. I really want you all to see it. But this is Shaco's. Shaco has gotten a little bit older and I feel like she really wants to show out when it comes to her makeup skills and her like her hair and stuff. So she's really like decided to change up her look a little bit. Still really girly since she's really about materialism. But now she has her hair done up. She has this really cute like off the shoulder top. And like she has these, this really cute skirt. Like this whole fit right here. And I think she really wants people to see her for who she is. And that is like a really cute rebellious like queen. So I try to match her outfit to her personality, and I think I'm really getting to it. I don't know if you guys like it. If you don't like it, just put in the chat. Tell me what you think you, she should be wearing. But we're going to join her in class today since we didn't get to do it last episode. Just to see how we develop this relationship with Jamma. Okay, we are back. Wait, why didn't I get the memo? What? You know what? That's Rebel Shaco for you. Whatever. Okay, well, everybody's dressed up looking good, and Shaco looks nice. But it's all good because we're going to have her study for exams quickly because I still she still needs to become a scientist. But I don't think having bad grades is something Shaco would want. So I'm going to have her study for her exam. She's almost done, honestly. Somebody's coming to talk to her. Who is it? Who is she looking at? Oh. Oh, oh, a bully. Oh, oh, what the heck? Who is this chick? Absolutely not. Who are you? Acquaintance. You're an acquaint. Uh uh. Well, I can be just as mean. Yeah, insult. <gasps> Shake is the only person allowed to be a bully in this town. There's only room for one of us. And it's not going to be you, sis. Whoever you are. Halila? Yeah, it's act tough. tough. You got this. Just because you do mischief don't mean you can't back yourself up. Yeah, insult. Uh -huh. Jeer. Bully her. Get her out the way. Oh, yeah. Huh. We got it. We got it. We, we reached the first milestone. We've already reached the first milestone. You defended yourself. We didn't get a chance to talk to Gemma or our crush, but we defended ourselves, and you should be proud. Won't bring me down. Body hair mockery. Shake is feeling totally confident about her hair. I love that about you. The support from others is really reassuring and free, and she's feeling fabulous. And you know what? Shako may be a little bit of a bully and maybe a little bit of a poser and trying to really get popular. One thing she is not is somebody who is insecure. She really will, will fight to defend herself and not be bullied by people who look down on her. And I love that about her. Queen energy. G right here. Ooh, love day starts tomorrow. You know what? You know what that means. You need to work on your proposal sign because the only way to really propose is on love day. Duh. And you're next to your man right there. Look, he sat right next to you for that reason. I see that. I can see that. So this is her new enemy. She's disliked. Um, and they have a festering grudge, and her name is Halili. Hale Hale Whatever her name is, she a bully. Okay, startups. 
The whole class cheered as the teacher presented notorious startup trends like beanbag chairs and epic snacks. Nothing says cool workplace vibes like a ping pong table. Classmates across the room start throwing their hands up and suggest even better ideas for potential business benefits. Now's a great time to pitch something. Fair wages, say nothing. Nah, girl, pitch it. You're confident. You're going to do great. Shago's suggestion falls a bit flat. The teacher commends her realness, but her classmates think that she's ruined the vibe. Dang. Shaco, dang, her classmates do not like her. Wow. Popularity is not for uses. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And you know what, Shaco, the class not liking you, not surprised because you know why? Because you're a rebel. You're a rebel rouser. You shouldn't be afraid of the class not liking you. That's right. You're not a tree. You can move. That's right. That's right. I gotta find somebody who's willing to talk to me with any student. Okay, well, I don't, Shaco, I just genuinely think people don't like you, baby. Yeah, like she thinks Shaco's dramatic and you think that Cassandra is shallow. Cassandra, of all people, Bella Goff's daughter. Let's see if we can try to keep a friendship conversation going. Yeah, let's boost Cassandra's confidence and let's ask about the uncomfortable mood. Cassandra may not be one of those friends that we grow close with, but I feel like she is somebody that we can really grow a little bit of a friendship with because we got to get to know people we have to get friendly oh she had to go to class okay that's fine we made a new semi-friend though we're gonna try to keep Cassandra in our books here she may not like you at first but that's probably just because rumors are flying rumors fly all the time but you know what you are you're strong you're not a tree you can move like you got this you're gonna make friends Woo! and the day is over Let's see if we can get a little bit of conversation in with Rohan. Talk about why you switched groups, right? Like, explain to her. You know, ask about his day. How's your day been? He's probably going to be like, yo, why did you switch groups? Like, why are you hanging out with this new group of friends? And then you're going to explain, like, the rubber rousers are awesome because A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And Shaco impressed her teachers that learned a lot today. Let's see if we, if we can apologize to Gemma for hurting her feelings. Because you've done a lot as a friend, but not in a good way. You really broke Gemma's heart. I think this mean girl energy is really coming at you. It's not, it's not, it's not looking good on you. Gemma's a good friend. I freaking love her. Like, I hope to all goodness that you don't ever do anything that's going to break your friendship up with Gemma ever again. Gemma, I don't know you were a cheerleader. Gemma, you probably really freaking cool. And you know what? Like, I hope that you and her stay really close friends for a really long time. Because Gemma has been nothing but a good friend to you since the very beginning. And I feel like you deserve, she deserves, like, nothing but good friendship. Okay, and she's asked about the cheer team. She's like, thanks for asking about the team. Everybody's welcome to try out, but only those who pass our standards are invited to the team. I don't know if you're going to really make it, because I'm not going to lie to you, sis. You don't really have any physical strength. You're pretty weak. Oh, there's a festival going on. Okay, so there is a sports festival here. Location, Cooperdale High School from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. We're already at sports day, but build up um, a skillful football throws and be the winner. Sims with higher fitness and positive mods, moods, fumble less, and score highly. Let's go ahead and go to sports day. <laughs> We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Wow, Mom, I didn't expect you to ask me this question. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Yes, Shaka would love a little sister or brother. Yes, we're having a baby. I love it. Who are you? You're cool looking. Rico, do you want to be a friend? Oh, she's a floater. Oh, oh, they're playing sports. That's actually really freaking cute. Rico, oh, well, I mean, I don't know if they're really building a friendship off of that, but you know. Oh, well, that's good. They seem like they really get to know each other, even though that was a very awkward introduction. Oh, wow, you have some strong legs, sis. I ain't even gonna lie. Maybe you were meant to be a floater because you seem to get along really well with the floater people. She has a crush on who? Not her with a girl crush? I love that. Okay, R I can't even pronounce her name. These names are so hard. Rikiko. Rikiko, you have a huge girl crush on Rikiko, and I'm loving this for you. Okay, first of all, Shaco, do you have a crush on everyone? How is that possible? You can't have crushes on everybody. Okay, so we have Jacob Volkov. 
he she finds him attractive she has a huge crush on him but he thinks that she's shallow which makes sense I mean, you are a little materialistic shaka but she thinks he's responsible he's from the mulu collective and he's a friend of the wild fang, of the wild fangs this one on the other hand she's sophisticated and she also has a crush on her okay shaka i don't understand you have a crush on everybody you have a crush on everybody i don't understand how you do this how can you be this thirsty poor shaka's gonna pee herself Oh, 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 I forgot all about Social Buddy. Let's see if we can make more friends. Let's add somebody to the contact list while we're here. Let's add some of these new friends here. Santiago and Jacob. Oh, and then Cassandra. Funny message. Funny message. Let's do a funny message to Jacob while we're at it. Let's do a friendly message. And then Gemma, obviously. Friendly. But she's growing some followers. She's getting some, some, some friends. The festival's almost over too, so finish your voting. It's almost as if someone is controlling her life. Will Shaco fulfill her dreams or will whoever is controlling it stop her from uh, from her wishes coming true? Ooh, is that a fear I see? And the football competition is over. Okay, you're gonna pee yourself. Okay, Shaco, you're not really that athletic, but I think it's time to go home now. You're not getting any better at this. So she does have a fear and I think that she should talk to her best friend about this. So we got a lot to do tonight, mind you. So we're gonna make some veggie dumplings because now that she's gone to that conservation field trip, she's starting to realize that she should really focus on the environment and you know taking care of it as much as possible. And she's gonna start leaning towards the idea of eating less and less meat. So she had a ham and cheese this morning, but today she's going to have um, the veggie. Okay, and what is going on here? Looming anxiety, oh my gosh, Shaco now! An ancient feeling looms over Shaco. She discovers something about, uh, something new about herself, a fear that hasn't been there before. Growing inside, ready to overcome Shaco um, into paralysis at any moment. Talking it out, I think, with the one friend that you like really had the most struggle with will help. I think Gemma, honestly, is very mature for her age. So I think having her as a friend will be a, a, a good support system for her. Finish your food and then you're going to do some debate and logic. Since all these options, we're going to focus on logic. Since logic is what she's going to need for a scientist career, I believe, we're going to focus on her logic. Socialize, throw, troll the forms when you're done, and then you need to finish that prom proposal sign for tomorrow. I guess the prom option isn't available. I wonder what happened. Whatever it is, that prom proposal sign ain't getting done. Okay, go to sleep now. Yes, good job. It is love day! Oh no, not the looming anxiety! Let's get mom a gift. Maybe some roses. And let's give some flowers to mom as a early love day gift. The fear of being cheated on. I'm not surprised and y'all don't really do much romantic stuff. But since they were in the mood to try for a baby, I think I will have them do that. Uh-huh. <laughs> you didn't like the flowers? Oh, oh, oh. Unappreciated gift. Ooh, well, girl, you 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 a little picky. He tried. I don't understand. Why are you so upset? While we're here, Shaco, let's see if we can buy him something Love Day-ish. Let's see what we can get him that would be a good gift. We're gonna buy this. So I'm gonna have her do that at school today while we're out it. Ooh, she's not looking good on the hygiene front, though. So I think let's have you brush your teeth and wash your hands and get off the computer because you're not going to get through it. Damn. Let's join her. Okay, well, somebody's scared of something. Oh, is that a werewolf? Girl, why are you standing? You better run. You're going to get attacked. Shaq, I don't blame you for being scared. I'd be pissing my pants right now. Okay, well, the boy you had a crush on is definitely low-key a little bit of a murderer. Prom is supposed to be around the corner, right? Am I going crazy? Yeah, prom is tomorrow. Is she going to be able to ask her crush to prom? I don't know. You have a lot to do today, so don't get distracted by the werewolf. You're so close to being done with studying for exams, so just get through it. Okay, Shaq, this is a big day for you. You're going to... No, no. I need you to ask him to prom. I need you to ask him to prom. I think you can do this. No, 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 no. Maybe after, maybe after class then? Let's go take your exam. Hopefully she can ask her guy to prom after class. She's feeling really embarrassed. Everything's just really stressing her out today. As you reach the last question on the final exam, an art question emerges. 
instead of um, asking you to name notable works of art, the question asks more practical art question. It asks about the different painting techniques and asks you to draw a small sketch to demonstrate your expertise. Well, sis, I'm not gonna lie to you, you don't have a painting skill to use. So we're gonna wing it because you can't draw. Oh, whoa, hoo -hoo, lucky it is because, okay, so what it says is, Shaco trusted her own faith to deliver her an answer to the tough exam question, but faith failed her. Staring at her finished answer, Shake knows she got no chance of being right. Small luck based exam boost. Okay, let's be friendly and ask about day. And then what I think we can also do is see if we can ask him to prom. Will he say yes? Asking him to prom on love day of all days is a pretty big deal. <laughs> You're big. Oh my god, he seems so excited about it! Yes! With three exclamation points, my friends. Um, I would totally go to prom with you. I also want to give him a little bit of a prom day gift. Give a romantic gift. Ooh, Will he still appreciate it? <sighs> he still likes it! Luck. That's what I'm talking about, Shaco. You go get your man. So his sim profile says that he appreciated her gift. Oh my god, I love a jamtastic gift. Impressed by proposal. Mind you, she didn't even use a proposal. She just asked him to prom. That's how much he likes her. I love it so much. And they still have such a strong crush on each other. Like I can't. I'm obsessed. Uh -huh. Kiyoshi, let's talk to Kiyoshi. Um, Kiyoshi doesn't like her too much. But let's see if we can get Kiyoshi in the mix of a potential friend group. He still thinks that she's full of herself, but. She's a funny full of herself. Let's use his lunchtime to really chat up social bunny. Be gone, peasant. Shake, I'm about to blick block you into next year. What? I thought that he was a winner. Okay. Well, that's messed up. He or she is so handsome. She should really be falling for this guy right here. Do you know how beautiful their children would be? Maybe we can get he or she to give us some advice on the social bunny post. Because he's pretty popular, right? Like, I feel like him knowing people will help. Okay, Shaco, do you stink? Is that what's happening here? You're really going through it. I'm not even gonna lie, girl. Ooh, you stink, you stink. But she, at least he or she was nice enough to have a conversation with you. Even with the stanky stankiness. Yes, I understand she stinks. You didn't have to say it that way, though. Oh my gosh, the whole class smells really happy. Yes, I understand you're confident, but maybe you should take a shower. Maybe you should brush your teeth. Maybe you should use the bathroom. You're falling apart. Look at all the people who hate her. Why? I don't know. And you're done. Okay, let's head you home right now. Like, go home. Let's see, Shaco did a great job. So some exams are finally over and the day was grueling and the questions were fierce, but the day the day is finally done. Thanks to the quick work of Scanotron MK7, all the tests have been graded and the results are out and, ev and here's how everyone did. Shaco aced her exams, great job. Yeah, girl, you smart, that's why. And prom is coming. The dance takes place on Saturday evening. Okay, well, I was reading that, but... Um, whatever i guess we're gonna go ahead and get you prepared to do everything in life right now so i'm gonna have while you're getting ready i'm going to get you together for prom <laughs> okay so here's her regular outfit and you guys got a chance to see this but this is her regular outfit right this is her formal outfit all right so this is her second outfit you guys have already seen it you got to see a look at it very mint very cute i want her to have a beautiful mint themed outfit for prom. <laughs> So I didn't, I kind of gave her a prom outfit because she goes a little bit dramatic and I feel like dramatics would make sense for her. So I thought it would make sense to give her a little bit of a dramatic prom look. Um, maybe something more like this. 
yeah, a little bit of a dramatic prom look with the pearls in the hair and the pearls on the neck and the pearls on her ears or the diamonds on her ears, gloves, pearl bracelets, and pretty much everything you can think pearl related. Um, maybe I'll stick with this one here. Yeah, everything you can think pearl related. Like Shaco is very girly and I think like this look suits her very, 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 very well. Um, tell me guys what you think for her prom look and um, I'm going to also do the other guy's hair and his look too so that they have perfect prom photos for a prom day. But we're going to leave that here. So let me give you guys a little bit of rundown what happened so far. So Shaco and her bestie have made up. She has apologized for the things that she's done and she has really tried her best to improve that friendship because I honestly, I really like the idea of her really being close with her friend. I don't think they're ever going to be exactly where they will, they were in the past, but I do think that Shaco will eventually grow and mature as she gets a little bit older. She's also, um, she also was brave enough to ask her crush to prom and Xanderia wants to come over. We're saving that for next episode. Sorry, way distracted. When it comes to prom, she was able to ask her, her, her high school crush for the day. And she, and he said yes. Like he was super excited about it. So I'm super happy about that for her. Um, on top of that, she also was able to um, make some new acquaintances. I wouldn't say they're friends exactly, but make some new acquaintances. Um, and she's growing in the social ladder. Um, she's made some new crushes. And to be honest, I think she's had a really fulfilling, like, two, a few days. So, I mean, tell me guys what you think. If you guys like this series, if you really enjoy it, if you have an opinion about how Shaco should be running her life, put it in the comments and I will apply that to the next episode. I also want to, for this episode, give a shout out to my follower of the week. Um, and you're going to see your picture here if you happen to... Um, make my day for following so thank you so much thank you subscribing thank you for subscribing i love you guys so much and i hope you guys have a great day um see you later sand clan bye